All right, hello everybody, it's gonna be brief. I'll let you guys know that I do have the link for the March from today. It's below in the description section. So me and Mike, will be, you see the video of us talking about it soon. But if you wanna actually watch the March itself, click on the link in the description and in the comment section, I'll have it posted there. Check out RSBN's coverage of the March. They did a fantastic job. Hope you enjoyed the content. <laughs>
When we do those events, we always see Black Lives Matter waiting for us. Antifa's waiting for us. They go on their social media platforms, on their Twitter accounts and anything like that, and p let people know about our events and they call us all these alt-right fascists and oh, you know, all this you know, dictatorship they're trying to push and all this stuff like that. They say all this crazy stuff about us and they put all these pamphlets and uh, you know, memes and everything out there warning people about our events. So by the time we come to our event, they're already there waiting for us. And you see when we get there, they're the ones yelling, screaming, acting foolish, making threats. Uh, somebody had a knife at this event, and they pulled it out, and they, they tried to tear the Trump flag in half with the knife. So it got really crazy. And, and thank goodness the police, shout out to the police, NYPD did a great job protecting us today. Deion Sidney got over 200 NYPD officers there to walk with us and protect us, and he did a fantastic job. They arrested the guy that had the knife. And when me and Mike were talking together about the incident, uh, a radical, a Black Lives Matter guy came up to us and was trying to say we were trying to push a false narrative. And then we're just, you know, being house in words and being stupid. And we just ignored him. We didn't give him no attention because that's the best thing you can do with these radical leftists is just not give him any attention and just keep moving forward. So that's what we did. And we got the content out there, got the footage out there. We on our end as MAGA kept it peaceful. They got aggressive and physical and went, you know, took it negative and they got exposed. So the hopefully now the public and the mainstream media and everybody else can take the truth that we showed and give it to the public. Anything else you want to say, Mike? Any, like, any way that can reach you or anything like that? Yeah, follow me on Twitter, MikeNificent813. You can sub to my YouTube channel. Just search MikeNificent. I'm also on Parler, Rumble, uh, BitChute, and then check out my Telegram channel at RealMikeNificent. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing next with RSBN, but... Uh, Keep supporting us. Go to rsbnetwork.com so you can donate. Go to uh, mypillow.com. Support us any way that you can so we can continue to cover these events. Shout out to Mike Lindell, man. Mike Lindell, real patriot, man. My pillow all day long. So, like always, man, hope you guys enjoyed the content you received for the RSBN. I'm going to post a link on the Facebook here so you guys can click on the RSBN live feed and watch it for yourself if you haven't seen it yet. I'll be posting uh, the link on my YouTube channel as well. I mean, I'll do this video I'll be posting, but I'll put the link on, on this video for the live feed for the RSBN to check out as well. And, you know, I hope, like I said, this is a very big day for us as Americans, as MAGA supporters. You know, Trump came out and said what he had to say at his last speech, and he said the MAGA movement is going to continue, and we officially here in New York City, you saw us out here pushing that MAGA movement forward here. So we can do this in New York. There's no excuse anywhere else in the Midwest, the South, the West, why you guys can't go out and do the same. So like always, thank you for listening. God bless all the Americans out there listening. And God bless the United States of America. Peace out.